with the uh, CTS base, we have that um, kind of silver brushed uh, metal look for our center council. And uh, the CTS base has a nice black, shiny uh, uh, piano black look. So I wanted to walk you guys through the check, through my process of uh, switching out the center council over to the uh, piano black from the uh, that silver brush metal. Though. So the first thing we want to do, I'll try not to look around too much so it doesn't get you guys seasick. We want to pop these out, stick something in there, preferably plastic, but I can't find mine. So I'll pop these out right here. As you can see that right there. And then we want to pop this one out a bit. I don't think we have to remove it all the way, I don't think, but we'll find out. All right. They kind of go downward, not so much outward. We're popping those off. Okay, we have that out. Uh, let's see here. What else do we want to do next? I think we want to pop these out maybe. Or do we want to pop this up first? Let's see here. We got that out. And but like this may end up being in the way a bit. So let me just get it out of there. All right, so next we want to remove these right here, two trim pieces here, and they pop right up. Hopefully it's going to be as easy as it should be. There we go. Set it off. And then take the other one. See, I'm putting my flat end underneath. And then lifting. Pop this part out a little bit. Now go underneath. All right. There we go, and pull it back towards myself. All right, now I see we're going to need to lift this up and out. I think it maybe makes sense to exercise move, of caution. Move this back a bit first far back as I can get it into drive then see if I can lift this up hmm see that you got a screw here and a screw here I believe those are attached to these this part right here I believe and I don't think this is part of it uh, here, these 10 millimeters. I think these, this should just pop out. Ah, there we go. All right. I will take it out, but given that this hasn't arrived yet, I'm just going to leave this in for now. Uh, so first thing we want to, next thing we want to do is remove these two seven, seven millimeters down here. One. There's two, and I think that's all we need to be able to remove this whole face plate up here. So now I'll just try to, I think it's at this point it's just compression clips holding it in and uh so i think once we get a little bit out we should be able to just snatch it out 
All right, that one came out. As you can see, I don't have the pop-up. So you got this little piece up here. Looks like there's just, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Looks like there is a plug right here that I need to unplug. Just push down on the clip. And I'm assuming it should just slide out. There we go. And it's like there's one more down there for the power plug. Got it out. You can see I just had to press this right here in order to get it out. All right. So here is the old one here. Here is the new one. The plugs look the same. They don't look any different here and here. Everything else generally looks the same up in here. And so hopefully everything, so I'm going to have to transfer over the box here. And I'm going to have to transfer over the vents. Now we also want to take these vents off here. And I think these are just held on with these plastic clips that need to be popped out. So I think these are going to be the easy ones. There we go, one's off, and the other one. I'm just trying to do both sides at the top, but start with the top two, then move on to the second two, and work my way down. And there we go, there's the other one. And from what I can tell, it doesn't look like there's anything else for me to transfer over. So I'll set this one off to the side. Bring this one in here. And I should be able to just... So that's the uh, little thumb wheel for turning the vents, which goes into this little slot here. So everything should line up the same. That one looks good. Make sure they're all locked in. Look at how it looks from the front. Make sure there's no gap. See, I still see a gap right there. That means I didn't get it all the way. Here we go. Now it's all the way in. See, you got the three, one, two silver ones on this side, two silver ones on this side. They actually slide into those, but you'll notice you have three tabs on each side. The third tab kind of just locks onto this part. It doesn't go through a tab. Right. I'll 
think we're good on that side. I'll be able to reuse this up here. So first thing we want to do is plug everything back in. All right, cigarette lighter thingy is back in. And plug up the power cord. All right, quite straightforward and simple. Now we want to put the vents back in. I got to turn those back off. This doesn't end up in the wrong spot. And let me just check because I'm not sure if it needs to be in place before I snap this into place. Let's see, you got these tabs back there. Looks like they go over there. All right, set that in over there. I'll bring this in. All right, so the next thing we want to do is, or at least I want to do is, because this hasn't arrived yet, is get this piece out. So I took out the two uh, Phillips screw screws that were up here, one on here and one on this side. And then I kind of just pulled it up from up underneath. And as you can see, it's starting to come up. And I'm hoping that it just pops out back here too. Yep, it looks like it is. Don't get too anxious because you don't want to break it. All right, so this piece is now out. So if I'm not able to find this in piano black, I'm go well, I'm going to try painting it first. If, it, if I'm successful painting it, uh, I'll keep it. If not, I'll look for it in piano black. Um, and so right now I just want to get this cup holder out right here. So... I have the new one here and I took out, so it's situated like that. And from what I can tell, uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's situated like that because it goes that way. So I got out these two screws in order to get up, um, get this piece off right here. So I got those two screws off. And now I'm trying to see if there's any, look like there's two screws here. So it looks like there should be two screws down in there. Let's see here. I'll get my little flashlight and see if there are. Put that up, a bit dirty down there. Uh, looks like that would actually be behind this piece here so let me remove this first oops let me get a different size screwdriver get that up uh, and there's two here as well screwdriver 
on this guide. And a screw on this side. I think it should come up now. Yes, it does. And that gives me access to those two screws. So, I'll get those. Be careful not to drop them. This is I think this is probably just going to lift up at this point. Yep, it looks like it does. Try to make sure not to lose my two screws. And I have one plug I have to unplug over here. The old one is out and there's old gum. So now it should be as simple as taking a new one. Hmm, what do we have here? A little clip down there. Like a little compression clip. I'll figure out what that may have been on. We can take it and plug in the new one. There we go. Set it in there. There we go. And now we just add the screws back in. All right. So now I put the two screws back into the back here. I didn't put the two up here yet because this piece needs to be on there too to properly lock it down. Um, and, but this is the door, the black piano door on now. So now I'm able to put this back in. trusty little magnet all right so I painted this one yesterday and it's dry today so I'll be able to put it back in it didn't turn out too bad uh, I'll keep it keep still keep an eye out for it but it did turn out better than I thought it would I just don't like how sometimes you have that uh, that what do you call it kind of like pitting that happens when you um, paint and some of that happened in some spots on here um, but overall it turned out better. I ended up putting on like four coats of paint and then I put on two coats of uh, clear coat. When the clear coat started to dry, I didn't like the look of it. So I went over it with a couple more coats of coats of paint, just rattle can, black, gloss black. And, uh, it actually looked better going over the, uh, the clear coat with the, the paint after the fact. So let's go ahead and put it in. All right, so here we are back inside. I have the armrest in the upward position because it's going to cover all the way back through there. Have the two uh, trim pieces up here off because these two holes right here, we're going to need those and definitely don't have the screws in there. So now we're just going to take the trim piece and put it back in there. Be 
see here. Yep, it's just compression clips each step of the way. There we go. There we go. Nice clicks like that. And you notice there's these little nubs on these right here that goes up underneath this right here. So I need to lift it up a little bit to get it underneath those nubs. All right, I can just twist it a little bit. There we go. There we go, lifting it made it easier. And now I can put the screws back in over here. this back down for now so this should be arriving today and if so I'll be putting it in um, and then the last thing will be this little door up here because of course that's the original door from the original radio um, so I'm still gonna have to paint that one and now that this turned out better than I thought I'm more willing to give that a try, try up here all right, so I took the, uh, what do you want to call it, ashtray or whatever, the door back out, and I'm going to go ahead and paint it. So I'm getting it ready to be painted, uh, and you got that little silver part there, that Cadillac emblem thing. So I'm going to trim out around that, uh, and then run some rubbing alcohol over the whole unit, and then I'm going to uh, put a few coats of paint on there. All right, so I received it in today. And uh, so now I'm gonna install it. So the first thing we need to do is remove this. We have to drop down this right here boot. And then at that point, it'll give me access to the 15 millimeter star bit behind there. down. I can move this forward now. So I can turn that insidious sound off. So I it just all snapped back in. Okay. At that point, I can take my shifter and put it back on. the right way, hey? Eh? And I should be able to just All 
tight. Make sure that is tight enough. And pop that back up on there. Like so. And now I should be taking my trim pieces and put those back on. the trim piece all right gotta lock this in back in place hmm. now I can put these back on Here back on. There we go. All right. And so that would be it. All right. So now it's all in, all in one piece. Remember, I painted this section down here. This door right here is factory, the factory black. This is the factory black. This is the factory black. And this right here is what I painted the door cause it didn't come with the door. And uh, other than that, that's how it looks. Converting it over to all to the piano black. I think it looks a lot better in the piano black in my opinion. Um, I'm still going in the spring. I'm going to take care of here and here as well. But for right now, I, I like the look. It looks good. If you guys like, definitely hit that like button. Uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. 